Morning, everybody, for a Saturday morning on a wonderful day. Um, I wasn't going to do any video uh, uh, streaming today or live video. I thought I'm going to have a day off because I don't think uh, it's fair for me to drive everybody mad all the day, every day. Anyway, the reason why, well, thank you for a thumbs up. And uh, by the way, hello, Mark, how are you? When I do these videos, could I ask everybody to do one big favor for me? Also share them on your timeline. Because the reason for me doing these, and it's lovely talking to everybody, is obviously we want to let the world know about its Caller Plus. Um, that's one of the things obviously is very passionate to me now because we've spent such a lot of time and heart building this platform. And um, I'm really enjoying the journey. It's been absolutely amazing. Um, and I wasn't going to do any video um, talks today. I thought I'm going to give it a rest. However, the reason why, and if, by the way, if you noticed, I haven't got my computer on. It's off. There's no computer. And there is a reason for my computer being off. Because I've given quite a lot of... Um, and good to see you, Mark. We'll have a chat maybe uh, once I finish. One of the things that we've been doing um, is I've been talking about It's Caller Plus. I was showing yesterday how you can upload a video, uh, make a video. And I hope that was a nice little tutorial for some people because it was uh, quite, uh, um, it's interesting because I'm learning as I'm talking to you. So uh, I'm the student as well as hopefully maybe teaching some people some things. It's been an amazing uh, lesson, this entire project. But the reason why I'm doing this video, and it's even 9.18 this morning, and I was toying with myself, should I or shouldn't I do the, make a video? But I'm excited. And why am I excited? Because my team of developers said to me last night, Spencer, have a look at your mobile telephone. And I went, why? We've been working on our on the mobile version of your It's Cooler Plus. And we're starting to get it working and it's starting to look nice. Now, this is not really finished yet by any means of the imagination. But what it does mean is that It's Cooler Plus, you can really start shortly to have a mobile version experience not an app right app is going to take an awful long time to develop because it's really technical but the mobile version and it won't have everything on it but it will have 90 percent but when you do use it it won't really work this way you'll need to really work it that way yeah so it needs to be landscape so what i'm going to do I'm going to switch on my mobile telephone and I hope you can all see this. Um, I'm going live. I haven't tried this. I haven't tested it. So it probably won't work. But I wanted to show you what it looks like on a mobile telephone. And hello, Tracy. How are you? You're late. Not in bed. Right. Nils, how are you? And what I want to show everybody is how it's called a plus is actually looking on a mobile telephone so it's not perfect so don't say ah it's not very good because it's just the start of what we're doing so i'm switching on my mobile phone and i'm very excited about this by the way i wasn't going to do anything until monday but i couldn't wait because i'm like a kid i really am right anyway so i'm you i use firefox but you can use obviously whichever browser you use so i'm going into firefox now the nice thing about what we've done now is that once you actually logged into it's called a plus you're logged in so you you never need to come out so it's same as your social media but obviously we have a lot more so when you go into it now i don't know whether you'll be able to see that little blue um box that's just come up and i'm already logged in but what it says is for better user experience switch to landscape mode do not show this message again 
So I'm going to click OK. All right. So bearing in mind, this is not a perfect thing, but I just want to show you what my team have done with the news feeds and also the the video, which is unbelievable. Because what you're going to see, you'll never see anywhere. It's really I'm just really gobsmacked. So at the moment, you can see it, it's showing like that. So if I go open uh, on my box here, now I'm doing this. At the moment, it's not perfect like this yet. But what I want to show you is look how nice, right? Look how nice on my mobile phone, how that is looking. So I've now got here all my video content looking really nice for Bloomberg TV. See how it looking nice. Now, we don't say it's great for portrait. Yeah, it does look better on landscape, and I'll show you why. So I'm going to turn it. Now look how it looks. Doesn't that look nice? Now, what I'm going to show you, right, is this is only videos for the moment, and I'm also going to show you news feeds. So bear with me, because it's still in development, but you can start to play with some of the features. The um, the social media side is being into, it's already in there, but the it's not designed correctly yet. But what I'm going to do is I'm now going to go on to Bloomberg. So I've now got here Bloomberg TV on my phone. Doesn't that look nice? Right? That's no different to you finding your Bloomberg TV or your your um, YouTube channel on YouTube. But what makes a difference is this. If I go back to Bloomberg TV and I go onto this one as well, look at that. I've now got two videos I can play in one screen on my mobile. Now I know there are many of the newer Samsung phones where you can do a split screen. But there are most of them today you can't. So using its Cooler Plus, you can actually have two videos going. However, watch this. You see that? But I've also got these here as well. So I've actually got now three videos all playing in my screen. I'm going to go a little bit further and I'm going to go um, this one here. So this is all live TV, by the way. So now, I mean, we're still making these work properly. Yeah, or fine. But what we've got here, if I scroll down, we're just still fitting on the sizing and that will just slip up at the moment because it's a little bit, but there you go. Look, I've got four videos all can play. Now, as I'm looking at that at the moment, it doesn't look really fantastic because it's a news feed. But if you like music videos, and I'm sure many people here like music videos or like racing. So what I'm going to do, what I'm talking, I'm actually going to, I'm going to go down here again. Yeah. And if I just uh, scroll back here. Yeah. And I want to see if I've got anything. Here. So at the moment, I've got here. BB King, yeah. So if I go on to BB King now, which is much more of a a nicer music thing. I just wanted to give you an idea what it looks like with news feeds, yeah. But if I go into here now and I click on this one here, it now says to me which box would I like that video to play in. So I'm now going to just click on number one for the moment, and now. BB King is there. I'm going to switch on the sound in a minute so you can see it. And this is also looking amazing on tablets. I'll show you as well in a second. Right? But I'm now going to play the same video again. Just scrolling up here a second. Here. So I haven't played them yet. I'm just just adding them in. So what this does, when you're watching a video, it kind of gives you a different aspect. So, and I'll show you what I mean in a minute. 
And it's great also if you're watching sport or football. Now, one of the things we are adding at the moment, and I will tell you, show you in a second, I just want to play the same video four times. So I'm talking to you as I'm doing this. Okay. So we've got it, the same video four times. And I'm just going to do this now here. So you've now got here, and I've actually set this up. So I've now got here, look, what, the same video. Play, now, they're not playing yet because I don't, I've set it not to play yet. But I'm now going to switch on the first one. So I'm going to be quiet, and you can watch this play. Okay, so I'm just going to turn up the volume because I think the volume is a bit quiet. So just bear with me a second. So can you see now? Uh, but what I want to do now, and I'm going to mute the sound, and I'm now going to play this one as well, and I'm going to play this one. Now, I don't know if you can see that. Oh, I just jumped a second. There we go. Okay. Uh, oh, my, my thing just refreshed a sec. Just bear with me. Hold on a second. Because I'm just doing this at the moment. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Where is that? Oh, here. There you go. There you go. So, so there you go. Can you see that now? Look. It's the same video playing. Can you see that? On a mobile telephone. And look at what you've got there. On my Samsung. You can only do this on its Cooler Plus. There is no other mobile device globally anywhere or any other application you can actually play four videos and have four different aspects on your mobile. That's what we can do with it's called a plus. Now, what I can also do though, because I want to say watch this one a bit better, um, and I think I can do it yet. Uh, no, I don't think we can do it yet. They haven't set up, set it up. But you will be able to have one video playing larger and a smaller. Now, I couldn't wait to show you this because I just think that is absolutely amazing. Now, if you do use it as a portrait version, you can, but the only difference is it won't look the same. Okay, I don't know if you can see the thing here. I think that's all gone dark, right? Oh, sorry, sorry. Right. It will, that's my phone, but it, it's just refreshing itself. But it will look it looks this way. It doesn't look as good. Yeah. And but if I go back this way, it does look much better. Yeah. Much, much better. And you can also though do exactly the same with the news feeds. So I'm going to show you with the news feeds now. And then what I'm going to do, hopefully, if my tablet has got any battery power, because it's off most of the time, I'm going to show you what this looks like on a tablet. Yeah. So to switch it off, all I need to do is I just click on these and I just close them. So that's what it looks like with three now. And I just close these now. Oh, let me just show you something else, by the way. No, I'm not logged into my social media yet. But if I wanted to share that video across my social media on my mobile phone, all I need to do is, you see that there, the arrow, exactly the same as the computer, as it on the PC and the desktop, no different. I can just click on this, look. And as soon as I click on that, that opens up and I can now share my video across all my social media through my mobile phone. We are the first globally to do this. And I am so proud of what my team of developers have been able to accomplish because what you are seeing 
is seriously, seriously, technically very, very hard. It's taken us probably 10 to 12 months to get this. This is the first time I saw it last night and I had to show everybody because I can't believe it. All right, here you go. And I'm just showing you here. So if I do want to send it out, by the way, now, just to show you here a sec, I've got my social media and I signed out before. But if I click on this one, am I here? Okay. So as you can see at the moment, my social media, I'm not logged in. I'm not logged in at all. But if I want to now log into my social media, now at the moment, it's exactly the same as the uh, computer version. It doesn't change. We've only got Twitter, Google Plus, and we can share across um, Twitter and LinkedIn at the moment. Um, and we're waiting for all the other media things, which I'm hoping is going to be shortly. So if I want to just sign in now, I could just go into here. Can you see that? And I can sign into my social media. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to start going to here, connect with Twitter. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm already in, actually. So it must be the way I'm doing it because I'm talking to you while I'm trying to do it. So let me just go here a second and let me just uh, open. If I can do this. Um, no, I think I probably need to refresh it. Yeah. Because I, log I logged out on my main platform. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just log out. I want to confirm my, I'm logging out of all my social media and I will re-log in. So you can log out of your social media all from here. Yeah. So I've now logged out of all my social media completely. Yeah. Can you see it's just refreshing. So you can do it exactly the same way as how you use your mobile phone, as how you use your laptop. No different. And now, oh, this is the new, these are the news feeds. So here I've got all my news feeds. So if I want to read, watch the news feeds, by the way, I go into and do it exactly the same as what I've done before. All I'll do is, and I know I'm, I'm changing my subject for a second, I'll go into my settings tab, and I'm going to go into the multi-screen option. And you see here, I don't know if you can see all that now. Can you see that? Where it's got YouTube videos, no news. So if I now click on my for news, can you see that? So easy to do. And I'm going to change my videos to two. And I'm going to change my news feeds to two. And I'll just do a save. It's so simple. It is so, so simple. Yeah, and that's now just redoing a refresh. You see that? I've just now refreshed that all on my mobile telephone now. Right, and we will be working to build the app probably to, in the next three or four months, we will start the development. So now, and if I want to add any more interests, I can even do that, by the way. I just go onto here, and I just go into whatever interest I want. So. Does anybody, I hope you're going to be sharing this with me, but does anybody want to write down and participate and tell me any interest that they like? Come on, please. Just one person. Michael, anything? What about health insurance? No? Right. Okay. So nobody wants to comment. I don't know if anybody, everybody's shy. But... You can just type in what you want to type in there, and then that video content will appear within your video boxes. It's really simple. So you and you and the nice thing about it is, you've got no adverts. There is no adverts. It cuts it all out completely. And what I'm going to do now, though, because I, I digressed, I'm going to go back into signing into my social media. So I'm going to. Just close this tab because I don't really need this. Now, this is all on one page, remember? I'm now going to just click on this. And now, if you can see this, by the way, can you see that? I've now got, I'm signing into my social media. I can compose a message. Okay. 
and I can also read the news. So I'm going to read the news for the minute. So I'm just going to click on one. There you go. How quick does that come up? Here you go. News feed. There you go. News feed. So I can read my news feed, scroll down, and look at everything else. All on one page. On your mobile telephone. Right? People said to me, this will never work. You could never get everything you are building to work on a mobile telephone because it is too small. Well, I think my developers are bloody brilliant because what they have done is breathtaking. And I really hope everybody that is watching now, I don't know how many people are watching, will register at its Caller Plus and just try it also on their mobile application. It does look better on a, on a tablet because obviously you've got more space. Yeah, and I'm going to show you that in a minute. But to work that on a mobile telephone with all, everything as it is, see, let's my phone, so there you go, all in one place is pretty good going. Yeah. And that's not even an app yet. Okay. That is where it's Cooler Plus is going to go. And you'll be able to have everything on your one platform. So what I was doing is here, I'm just going to go into my Twitter. Okay, so if you can see what we do here, just to, to go here. So it's now it says connect. Can you see that? And I'm now going to just click on here. And can you see it's come up about authorization? Yeah. And I'm just going to go sign in. So I'm only going to show a couple of the apps at the moment because I think it's it's better because obviously um, it's not really been configured 100% yet. But it's now refreshing. Yeah, and I've now got my Twitter account live on here now. And it's refreshing. There you go. Right, and everything's just reopening. Now what I'm also gonna do, I'm actually now, and I don't know if you can see this, you see that there? I've now got in my compose message a little tick for composing a message. So, but what I want to do, I'm just going to scroll down here. I'm going to now just click on my LinkedIn. And bear in mind, I'm talking, I'm trying to do this while we're talking, by the way. So it's not always because you're quite handed. So there you go. So LinkedIn. Oh, let me just move my thing there. You see, connect to LinkedIn now. And what I'm doing now is I'm just connecting now to my LinkedIn. It's giving me my password. Can you see that, everybody? Can you see? I won't see my password, obviously. Yeah. And I'm just going to uh, go sign in. And hopefully that should sign in. There you go. Can you see that? It's signed in now. So now what I'm going to do is, I don't need that one anymore. I was just still loading. It's just refreshing. Can you see that? And what I'm doing now, I just wait for that to just to load. Obviously, this is mobile. It, it's, I'm not using this via data. I'm just using it for mobile. Obviously, a lot of people will use this when they're in their Starbucks or they've got their Wi-Fi. I tend to use a lot with um, my, my data. And I just now click on close this. And I'm, again, I'm trying to do this while I'm talking to you. So. It's a bit slower. Uh, continue. There you go. There you go. Okay. So I'm just trying to do this while you're doing it. There you go. Okay, right. So I've now just closed that one down. It was just telling me a little warning. And what I want to do now is I now want to, I'm just going to show you again. So I'm going to go into a news feed. It doesn't matter what the news feed is for a second. I've got this box just come up here. Is it? Okay, here you go. Right. So it was just refreshing. So it doesn't matter what the news feed is, but I'm just going to show you something. Yeah. And I can now, at the moment, I've got this set here, by the way, if you can see that for the UK. But I can set my news feeds just by clicking down here for whichever country I want. So if I go into select country, Okay, now they are working on this still, so it's probably still not ready yet. Okay, 
um, country, or I can do this. Oh, here you go. Right. So it's now telling me here what news channel. Yeah, I don't know whether you can see that there. Can you see that? No. Okay. So I can go into news channel or I can go into country. So if I go into country second, hopefully, here you go. Yes, it does. It's there. So I'm now going to go into Thailand. Yeah. So I've now set Thailand for my news feeds. And then I just go search and hopefully search there. And now it's doing a refresh. This is all quick. And I've now got all my Thai news feeds on my mobile phone. But the nice thing about this, I could have Thailand news feed, English news feed, ABC news. I could have different news feeds all on my screen at one time. So I won't show you everyone now, but I'm just going to click on one for a second. Yeah. There you go. That's a news feed. Now, if I want to share that, if I want to share that news feed, I can simply go to my share button, which is just here. Can you see that? And I've just shared it. Yeah. And now what it's come up is it's put that link into my handset. Now, obviously, I'm, I'm doing this as I'm talking to you, so it's, it's a bit different. But now, if I just do now, doing a new demo, D -E -M -O, demo on Saturday, this morning, T A T S morning, M O R N I N G. So this is all spell check, everything done. So I've now typed in. Just doing a new demo this morning. Yep. Yeah. And now all I do is I now select, if you can see that there, I've got LinkedIn and I've got Twitter. Can you see that, everybody? So I'm now going to just put a little tick into both my news feed. Can you see? Twitter and LinkedIn, yeah, and I'm now going to share it, and it's sharing. So now I've shared that news feed across two platforms at the same time. So let me show you how it looks. So if I go back to my social media feed, which is here, can you see? Look. All my news feed there, can you see? And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press that refresh button. Yeah. This is for Twitter, by the way, as you can see. And hopefully, with a bit of luck, I'm bearing my eye on data, it's just doing a refresh. Now, it will automatically refresh every three or four minutes as a normal feed does, because obviously it doesn't want to drain your battery. But if you press that little circle, what it will do, it will, there you go, oh, what have I got here? Warning, a script on this page may be busy. Okay, fine, yes, okay, right. But there you go, can you see now, doing a, a demo. Now, at the moment, we can only show the link here, but I'm gonna go out of its caller plus for a second, just so you can see something, and also my LinkedIn, yeah? So if I now go out to here, and I go into, my twitter page is actually my twitter feed page here yeah because this is the app yeah and if i go into see new tweets um and i just go into here a second bear with me a minute and i go into um profiles where is it here following hang on a second All right okay and I just go into my tweets. Doing a new demo this morning. There you go. Can you see that? And now I'm going to go onto my LinkedIn. My LinkedIn page. All right. And I'm just going to go back to my home. 
This is actually in LinkedIn. Now, these are actually, LinkedIn will actually be embedded into the platform at the moment. It's just not quite there yet. And I'm just going to go onto my feeds. Yep. Yeah? And can you see where I've got here articles, 47? And then I've got new posts. And there is the article, the article that I just sent. Can you see that it says doing a new demo? Sorry, the way I've done my writing uh, this morning. Yeah. And that is all through the It's Cooler. I'm just going to a second. The It's Cooler app, or not even app, actually. Yeah. Hi, how are you? All through here. You can see it doesn't look so great um land um portrait so we do recommend landscape and i've done that in one click now as we build up our social media apps you will also be able to send that across your facebook your instagram everything really 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 quickly and you'll also be able to access your photos on your telephone and share them or anything that's on your phone you want to share um, like we've done that news feed it could be a video and everything and what we are doing shortly you'll be able to send four attachments at exactly the same time across all your social media feeds that will be ready I'm hoping by the end of next week and I will show you that once it comes up so I've actually been talking a little bit longer than what I expected this morning because I thought it was just going to be a quick one but I just couldn't wait to show everybody what it is starting to look like it's called a plus on your mobile phone yeah and I'm going to just close this down now and it does somebody said to me by the way what about the data what about this? Um, how much data you get? Is it going to be data hungry? Is it going to be processing hungry? Well, it's only going to be as hungry as the apps and the applications you're working on now. It's obviously working with web browser instead of an app, but the data and the processing speed is no different because it's still you're still using you've still got the same you're still using exactly the same but instead of using it across one two three four applications you're going to have all of it just in the one now i don't know whether my tablet is working at the moment i'm going to try to switch it on to see if there's any power in it because i don't ah oh, yeah i'm powering up my tablet as we speak yeah now i don't often use a tab yeah and this hasn't been switched on for a fair time. But what I'm gonna do is also show you what it's looking like on the tablet, as long as I've got some power in, in this thing. So if any of you that are watching this can actually see the tab, uh, you, you actually use tablets, you can actually see what it's looking like on the, uh, on the tab. Um, again, we will be working on the um, the It's Cooler app, but uh, the Plus app, which will be integrated with the It's Cooler app, which I'm sure you may you may have seen. Um, so, I've up, oh, I don't know if you can see it. It's got battery power zero. So, what I'm going to do now, right, is technology at its best. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug that, and I'm going to plug that into my phone <laughs> look the battery is dead <laughs> so when I said I don't get to use it much you can see yeah um, and I'm now gonna hopefully it will power up so with a bit of luck thank God for a, a lead as we say yeah and uh, you can see that loading up now so if we just wait for that for a few minutes um it's just loading as we go and then once that's loaded just get, give it a few seconds right and i'll just talk so i'll just go back onto the old handset yeah um and i'll just go back into here and the good thing about this by the way yeah which is really important 
is that if you want to stay on it's called a plus all the time you can do yeah but if you want to log out of it you can very simply if we just go back down here a sec i know this my my screen resolution might be a bit gone quiet at the moment for some reason but if you go back here i always come back slightly. if you go here can you see that there i can sign out of its caller yeah and i can sign out of my apps in other words my social media feed and i can also sign out here of its caller so you've got two sections where you can sign out of at any time you want so if you want to really secure your security you can do it but if you do not um log out of your uh, it's called a plus as soon as you go into your browser every day it's caller will be there it'll be open and everything is there and the other thing by the way i'll show you and i've got to show you this because it's no different and i'll show you on the app let's just on the um, tablet but if i go here i don't know if we can see this can you see the, the thing is a bit quite dark but i've also got here a magnifying glass can you see the magnifying glass there if i click on that magnifying glass and i think I my screen is resolution is quite slow but if i go into that uh, i think maybe it's because my phone is a bit slow here for a minute Maybe I'll turn it around because it's recommended I go this way, go this way. Now, the reason why it goes dark is because it's actually recommended we go into a portrait, yeah? Because um, portrait is much better. But if I scroll back to here and I go onto that search bar, can you see the search bar? Bang, see, it works now. It's only really working on landscape more than portrait because. It's a much better experience but if you see here now i don't know if you can see that you see that now right so now i've got my search engine so if i need to do a search on any product so if i want to do a search on um if i go here a second um bum, 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 bum. sorry because i've got loads of things open up here at the same time so if i want to go into here and i want to do I M G. Hold on a second. I M G. In do it in a second. So it's so because of my spell check on this thing. I M G. Ins health insurance. H E A L T A. Health insurance. S U R A N C. E. Okay. So I've typed in there. If you can see that. Let me just mind that second. IMG Health Insurance. Can you see that? Oh, you can see the, the writing very good. Yeah, hold on. Um, I don't know if you can see that very clearly. Yeah. And I do search. This is all through the web, all through the app. So I've now got all my data for IMG Health Insurance as a search engine. No different to what I would do on my laptop, or no different to what you'd be doing for your Google. But the only difference is, if you can see that there, I've got here my searches. Okay, can you see? Loads and loads of searches coming up here. But I've also got, I can share my post, so I can even copy that and send it straight away. And I've even got my news feeds. And if I've, I've also got my Twitter. And I've also got my videos. Now I'm just going to go on to that one there for a second. There you go. That one. See, just as easy. I've got it playing. So, if you can see that now, I've got the videos playing. So, I've got videos there, and I've got news feed there, and I've got my search engine down here. All on one application. Now, that's a mobile phone, so it's quite a lot. So, what I'm going to show you now is the same on a tablet. Yeah? So you've got, oh, I don't think I can because I think my, my battery is a little bit flat. So if I can't show you on the tablet today, um, on my next uh, 
vlog, which will be, I promise you, on Monday. It won't be from, uh, uh, I won't let it go and, and, uh, for tomorrow. I'll have a day off as well. I will show you how It's Cooler Plus is working on the tablet as well as the mobile phone. Um, if any of you out there do have a mobile, uh, a tablet, register, have a go at it. Um, it's free to use. Um, as I've mentioned before, um, the platform is It's Cooler dot asia forward slash plus must always do forward slash plus and um i look forward to everybody registering and playing with the solution as you can see now it's working on tap phones it's working on tablets it's working on laptops it's working on pcs it's working on all applications you can possibly think of so you've got one platform one application with everything you like on and what's going to be really exciting is shortly we've got hula tv being implemented soon we'll be speaking with the developing team so that's going to be uh, hopefully a couple of weeks away um we've got some other new feeds coming in so there's lots lots all coming onto one page one platform um we're all, well there's so much i don't want to tell you too much because it's too exciting but um have a great weekend and um next week i'm going to show you how to do a few more things um, with PowerPoint presentations, how you can make the most of it's called a plus by uploading videos for, um, if you're working, for whatever. And um, Nathan Lee, how are you? Say hello to Jonathan for me. Um, I'll give you a call shortly. Um, it's been too long that we haven't all spoken. Um, so that's really it for the day. Um, have a great. Uh, Saturday and um, Michael, I'll probably see you down at Starback in the next hour or so because I'm going down because I need a cup of coffee. And um, everybody else, thank you for joining. I do appreciate uh, you all taking the time and watching my video. And um, I know I ramble on a lot, but I do hope you're finding it interesting. And I do hope you uh, uh, start to use its caller plus. And um, as I said before, bye for now.